25 I got tore down here. Um, this one actually was having problems with coolant intrusion into the cylinder here uh, on number three. This is a new uh, short block. Uh, the old one was protruding coolant off into the cylinder and causing a misfire. And this is actually a really common problem with these blocks. Uh, they just, they're not, they don't seal very well and they'll crack in here and leak coolant out into the cylinders. Uh, super common problem. Uh, I'll give you all a quick rundown of this motor. So here we got the oil pump mounts right on the front of the engine here. And then over here, you know, we got the uh, cylinder head here. Uh, really, really miniature turbo. And um, we got our camshafts, and this one actually has uh, these valve buckets, I guess is what you call them, um, that sit up under these cam loads. So, of course, we got VCT phasers here in the back. And one other thing, um, so on this camshaft here, we got this lobe here. It's actually the high pressure fuel pump rides on this lobe. Uh, not a really common problem, not near as common as the coolant intrusion on the block, but this will wear out over time on some of these and you'll have uh, some real bad drivability issues. You'll have, it won't be running rough. And if that cap wears out, fuel pump is here goes down through here there we go ah. so here's our high pressure fuel pump and this is the cap i'm talking about um this one's not wore out but some of them will wear out so uh just some things to think about uh before you buy a 1.5 is uh, i mean that happening to your car uh, especially if it's out of warranty uh, it's probably about a five or six thousand dollar repair so um, if it was me personally I probably wouldn't buy a 1.5 liter EcoBoost uh, these come in the fusions and escapes this is an escape um, there's a lot of fusions riding around with them too so there it is guys 1.5 um, torn down this uh this one's getting a short block so there you have it